Hello, hello, my friends. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. Guys, well, you know what they say, better late than never. <laughs> and that definitely applies to this video because this is my months in review video in terms of which I am going to be sharing all the canvases that I finished in the months of, let me think about this, it's the months of July and August. Now, I know we are just at the beginning of October, but... I decided to film this video anyway because I know you guys love it and I also know, or you know I should say, that I did recently take a bit of a diamond painting break and a bit of a YouTube break and so I never got this video up when I should have. But I still want to do it guys because I have four gorgeous, gorgeous finishes to share with you today and um, yeah, I don't want to just roll them up and put them in my garage and not share the excitement of these completions with any of you. So, even though I was on a diamond painting and a YouTube break, I wasn't um, on a break from diamond painting completely. I was on a complete YouTube break, but when I started getting my mojo back for diamond painting, I was diamond painting. So I would still diamond paint in the evenings and a little bit on the weekends and so on. And so that is how I have four canvases to share with you. Also, some of these canvases were already sort of half completed when you guys saw my last whip parade, which now would have also been over two months ago. So, you know, not all of these did I start and finish in July and August. Some of them happened to be finished, but they had been started before. So anyway, gang, on that note, settle in, join me today as I share these four gorgeous finishes with you. So starting off, we have this image or this canvas that is on your screen now. I'm going to turn it over and reveal this one to you because I don't think I ever did a full post review on this one because I think I finished it during my break. I'm not sure, I can't remember, but anyway, gang, ta-da! <laughs> this one is one of my own images. She is an image that I decided to title Butterfly Beauty. Like I say, it is one of my own creations. I sent this one off to Evermoment to have a custom made and... This is obviously the end result. Now that I think about it, I think I might have done a post review in this one. But anyway, here you are. It's in my months in review video now. So this one, like I say, was from Ever Moment. It is a square drill diamond painting. I ordered this one in the size 50 by 70 centimeters. It came with no ABs. I specifically never choose ABs with my kits. I think you guys know that. And it had a total of 42 colors. Oh my gosh, guys, what do you think? <laughs> Aren't these butterflies and all the blues and all the rest in this image just gorgeous? I absolutely loved working on this one. I had no issues, no problems. Um, if anything, I can say that the drills were ever so slightly trashy, but that is not something that bothers me in general because provided I have enough drills, which I always have from Ever Moment. I don't mind if I have to get rid of some drills. And I don't want to say the drills were trashy and make you guys think, oh gosh, they're, you know, not a good company. As many of you know, Evermoment is my number one favorite diamond painting company. So, I mean, I think this image and this finish speaks for itself. The square drills were brilliant. All I'm saying is that there was a bit of trash. So you do have to pick out some trash now and then, but you always have enough drills with Evermoment. And I can tell you now, these drills fit together so perfectly, you guys, even in the lighter colors. I'm actually going to try and hold this up to the camera so that maybe you guys can see what I mean. Look at how beautifully these drills are fitting together. Let me show you um, another section over here. I mean... There is no gapping and there is no popping and this is on the light colors. If I show you, for example, let's have a look at this butterfly. Same thing. Look at how gorgeous those drills are and how beautifully they are fitting together. So really, as always with my Ever Moment canvases, absolutely nothing to complain about. I love this one. Just so that you guys know, and maybe some of you would have noticed, there was an error with the image that is my fault. It's got nothing to do with Evermoment. If you have a look here at her neck, 
Can you see that the neck doesn't follow down? Now, I think I explained in my post review or maybe a whip parade video, I'm not sure, that this image was one that I created years ago when I was very first learning how to use these different um, programs and softwares and all the rest, or let me say software, to create these type of images. I was still learning, and at the time that I made this image, I obviously didn't realize that there had been an error over there or else I would have been able to fix it. So that is the only slight about this canvas. And like I say, that is totally my fault. But other than that, I still wanted to work on it. I loved all the blues. I mean, look at all the different blues. And I loved the butterflies. Look how gorgeous this butterfly is. And you almost get a bit of the shadow of the butterfly over here. And then this butterfly also absolutely gorgeous in different hues of blue. And then, I mean, her eyes, her beautiful eyes, and then another butterfly over here, also in beautiful blues. So I really love this piece, you guys. As always with Ever Moment, it was slightly confetti heavy, especially in her hair. Um, those of you who have worked on a number of canvases and have a lot of experience will know that hair tends to be very confetti heavy. So there was a lot of confetti in the hair, some color blocking going on in the face. But in general, I'm sure you can also see the different dots of blue in the butterfly and look at the shadows and shading around her neck. So there was a lot of confetti. But guys, I still absolutely loved working on this one. And so, yeah, this was my first finish of the last two months. And then moving on to the next finish that I'd like to share with you. Look at this gorgeous, bright lady. Is she not so stunning and so much fun? I mean, just look at these colors, gang. Oh, this one was fun to work on. Okay, extremely confetti heavy, but still fun to work on. So let me give you some stats. So guys, this one came from a company called The One With The Diamond Art. They are actually based in the UK, if I'm not mistaken, but they obviously ship to the US. This piece is called Rainbow Mermaid. The artist is Diamants et Strauss. The size was 50 by 50 centimeters. It is a round roll diamond painting. It came with a total of 50 colors and no ABs. There is an option on the website where you can either choose ABs or no ABs. I think there are also options to choose fairy dust drills and all sorts of other things. But again, as you know, I prefer my canvases just to have straight, normal, plain drills. So guys, like I say, 50 colors and no ABs. Now look at all the color. <laughs> One of the reasons that I did choose this piece was, you know, I gravitate towards portrait art and art that has people in it. So obviously this one appealed to me. And then don't tell me that we don't all need a little bit of brightness and color in our days and in our life. <laughs> so I thought this one would be so much fun to work on because of the colors. So in general, guys, I really enjoyed working on this piece. It did go a little bit slower. Um, just because of the amount of confetti. So I'm very glad that I did order this in a size 50 by 50 and no larger. To the naked eye, it might be ever so slightly pixelated, but when I'm looking at it through the camera, I'm actually not noticing that. I think obviously it's because the size I chose is a 50 by 50, which is not a hell of a big size. And also because there are an extreme amount of color changes, as you can see. And I always tend to find that a lot of colors and a lot of color changes can sometimes make an image look more pixelated. But having said that, like I say, through the, the camera, I'm looking at her and she looks absolutely stunning. And even with my naked eye, guys, this really is a gorgeous finish. Um, what I can tell you about the canvas itself, because this is round rolls, this canvas did have guide circles. But the guide circles were very, very light, and you cannot see any of the guide circles peeping through or around the drills. Even in the light colors here, there's nothing that's problematic in terms of the guide circles. I also did note that the inside of the guide circles were not white. They were actually the same color as the background. And I'm sure many of you have heard me speak about that before. When you have a round roll painting, you actually want the inside of the, the rounds, you know, of the, the symbols to be the same color as the background. So that if you haven't placed the drill 100%, you don't see a white you know, a white ring around the drill. I, I hope that's making sense. So basically, very happy with this. Um, this was an older kit. 
Now, I'm not going to go through the whole spiel of resin versus acrylic rounds. I've dealt with that in, in numerous videos of mine. The one with our diamond art always advertised that their round rolls were resin. However, I have come to the conclusion that in these older kits, even though they advertised resin, they were not resin, they were acrylic. They all have the dimples in the background and all of that. But I don't really care. <laughs> As long as the drills are good quality and they fit together well, which these ones do, then I don't have any issues. So once again, let me try and maybe hold this up to the camera just so that you can see how nicely these round drills fit together. Can you guys see how good that looks? Now, I've also said something else before about rounds, and that is that you can get gapping with round drills. And round drills and their gapping issues can be very frustrating, just like with squares. Now, in this case, and as I'm showing you, you can see that these rounds are fitting together really well, which also means that it's much easier to get your lines straight and to not have wonky lines. So I really did appreciate that about this canvas. And at the end of the day, I loved working on this one and it's an absolutely gorgeous finish. Next up, we have Tara from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Maitha Jelena. This is unfortunately an image that is fairly old, and so it has been discontinued, and it's no longer available in, on the website. But I obviously had it in my stash, and every time I go to pick a, a, a new diamond painting to work on, this one kept shouting at me, like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> And so eventually I did. So guys, this is the third canvas that I want to share with you. Like I said, it's from Diamond Art Club. It is a um, square drill diamond painting in the size 51 times 69 centimeters. It came with a total of 25 colors and only one AB. Now, again, let me just pan her up and down so that you can get a good look at her. Isn't she just so fun and gorgeous and different? And oh, I just really loved working on this one. I loved the fact that there weren't a ton of colors. I loved the image itself because there was a good amount of color blocking in this one. Um, as you can see, probably in the hair, you know, there are some, it's not coming out so clearly on the camera, but there are some different sort of shades of red in the hair, but there are still nice areas of color blocking also on her face, all this white is the same, is the same color, obviously. Down here on her tattooed arms, even though on the camera it just looks like it's all 310 and the white, it's actually AB. These, this white here is actually the white AB. But in regard to the black, it's actually not all 310. There's 310, there's 939, there's a, another shade of blue. Is it probably the 8? eight, three, five, or something like that. And then there's actually green. Actually, in the middle section here is a very dark green. So it wasn't just clumps of color blocking. And then, of course, in her sort of leopard print top here, there was a bit of color changing as well. So for me, I just found that I got a good balance of confetti and color blocking when working on this piece. Now, I think you guys also know that I don't tend to bling up my canvases. I don't really enjoy trying to swap drills out for, I don't know, crystals and ABs and fairy dust diamonds and all of that. Um, but I did do that in this kit. So let me show you in her hair here. These are her bobbles in her hair or her hair bands, whatever you want to call them. And I did swap out certain colors in there and I put crystals. So the brownie sort of br bronze color that you're seeing there is in fact a crystal. And I did it here as well. Not coming out so well in the camera, but I think you can sort of see that. But does it, does it sort of, I actually think you can see it better like this. You can see that there are, or that there is extra sparkle at, up there. So that was the only change I made. Very unusual for me to do something like that, as you guys know, because I don't uh, usually do that. And yeah, guys, is she not just so gorgeous? I love her. I love her. <laughs> So that is canvas number three. Woo-hoo, guys. <laughs> Look at what canvas I finished. Oh, my word. I was working on this extra large canvas for, it felt like a decade. <laughs> okay, I'm prone to a little bit of exaggeration. But let me try and just move this one across and then upside, uh, not upside down, up and down, just so that you can have a look at this one just before I give you 
all the stats and all the rest of it. So from side to side, sure. I'm just trying not to bump the, ca the camera as I do the up and down. And then from the top, whoopsie, it is huge, you guys, to the bottom is down there. So for now, I'm just going to leave the main part of this image, which I think is the ship and some of the building and the beautiful skyline or the sunset or sunrise. We're not quite sure over there. So, gang, let me give you some stats. So this is obviously a Diamond Art Club release. It is very well known and very popular. It's called Journey in the Dark. The artist is Auclair Studio. The size was 98 centimeters times 65 centimeters. Square drill diamond painting, a total of 53 colors. It had four ABs plus one glow in the dark drill. This canvas had a total of 102,573 drills. <laughs> I don't normally uh, mark that down in my logbook, but because of the size of this one, I did. So, gang, what do you think? This is really just one of my favorite finishes of the year, and I loved working on this canvas. Except for the extra large size, which many of you know does tend to freak me out a little bit, because I find that working on the canvas just goes on and on and on. I actually didn't battle too much with this one because there were very nice areas of color blocking. I'm sure you can see over here, and this is not that it's just looking like 310 through through the uh, the camera. It actually all is 310. And then you've got sort of this section over here, which is all 310. And in the top right, again, all 310. Then you've got areas of color blocking in the background in the sky. So really, there were good amounts of color blocking, which really helped this kit to move, or this canvas to move a little bit quicker in terms of progress. There were also areas of color block, I mean, sorry, of confetti. You can probably see how the moon is reflecting here on the sky. There was lots of confetti there. But what I also loved is that there was a lot of line blocking. Like, look at all of this over here and all of this over here. So all the sea over here was line blocking. Then quite a bit of confetti over here. Then you had obviously the castle or the fortress or the city walls over here were in the, the glow in the dark uh, black, the 310. Quite a bit of color blocking in the bottom of the ship over here. A bit of confetti obviously in the, in the moon. And then also quite a lot of confetti to outline the clouds. Doesn't look too bad, but it's quite a lot of confetti there. But I would still say that this canvas was probably 60% at least color blocking, maybe even a little bit more. The square drills on this one were excellent. This is a slightly older kit. I actually think it was released, if I'm not mistaken, two years ago on Black Friday. So November of this year, two years ago, is when this one was released. The square drills, especially now that the glue has dried, are absolutely fantastic. they fitting together like a glove. I've got no concerns. When I was working on this piece and looking at it, you know, with the light pad behind it, I could see some gapping. But obviously, once the light pad was switched off, and now that this canvas has been sitting around for a few weeks, um, well, longer than that, longer than a month, actually. I finished this one over a month ago. Um... I can see that the drills have really pulled together nicely and it's just a stunner. I'm not sure if this one is still available on the Diamond Art Club website. It's such a massively popular kit that I would be surprised if they've discontinued it. So if you are someone that really likes your extra large size diamond paintings, if the image appeals to you, if the idea of a fair amount of color blocking appeals to you, then I would definitely recommend that you check this one out. I thought it was just so much fun to work on. And I loved this sort of coloring that we get here of the, I don't know if it's the setting sun or if it's the sun coming up, perhaps the sun coming up. But either way, the colors throughout this diamond painting, even though there is a lot of black and a lot of 310, you still get those pops of color. Also in the sea, you can see there's lots of different shades of purples here, which I absolutely loved. So guys, I think that is a very good way to end off this video with this gorgeous piece. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you are happy to see a months in review video from me again. Maybe some of you were worried that you wouldn't see one ever again. <laughs> 
And I wasn't even too sure when I was going through my break, but yeah, I'm more than happy to be back. I'm having great fun showing you guys these canvases and sharing my love for diamond painting with all of you. Right, gang, so the next months in review video you will see will be for September and October. So that one will be coming up in November, hopefully. At the moment, I expect to definitely have two finishes, but hopefully I'll have I'll have more than that. I, uh, I have one or two that are sort of halfway done that I need to get finished as well. So let's leave it there. How are you guys doing with your diamond paintings? How many canvases have you finished in the last month? Let's, let's just say. Are you taking it easy or are you whizzing through your kits? Let me know in the comments and definitely let me know if you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, and if you obviously want to see, well, I don't actually think I need to ask you if you want to see more of these. I know you want to see more of these. <laughs> I also love watching months in review videos. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing these so you don't have to worry, gang. Okay, my friends, other than that, happy diamond painting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>